All right, so on my last video, I showed you uh, the heat sinks and uh, one of the completed uh, uh, heat sinks. But now uh, I have both of them completed. Um, so now I'll be moving on to wiring them, soldering the wires in. Um, but before I do a video on that, I wanted to do a video on uh, just unwrapping this, uh, the controller from Coral Lux. Um, it basically looks like it's just held by a piece of tape here. And uh, oh, and I want to mention this. It comes with a a knob and some uh, plastic screws, or but uh, this is the case. And in the unboxing, it was blue. That was because that was protective tape over the, all the case parts. So I'm going to be uh, putting the case together. But basically, take this and it should just slide out. And there's the controller. It looks like there's a protective covering over the screen, so I'm gonna leave that on until we're finished. But I think I just take uh, uh, probably the back piece first. And I don't know if it matters what side I go on, but. So it looks like these plastic screws are gonna go in the four corners. And I think it'd be smartest to put them in the acrylic first. So I'm just gonna snap these in. I think they just snap in. Maybe not. Oh, yep. Those just snap in. Okay, on to the other side. All right, and then I'm just gonna wipe this off. Get this as clean as I can. Even though it's the back, so it's not that big of a deal. And it's gonna be hidden anyway. All right. All right, enough cleaning. And then just set it on there like that. And I, I don't think it's, it hasn't snapped in yet. All right, this corner went in. So I'm gonna try to do this corner. All right, that corner went in. That went in, and the last one. All right, so they're all secure, and you can see that's basically uh, it's a nice standoff so that the pins on the bottom don't touch the acrylic. And then um, I guess do I put this on first? Just slides in. And it's actually a pretty, I think I'm missing a piece. It's actually a pretty neat design. I think he uh, had this all custom built, but basically it comes back apart from squeezing these two ends. Here's my other piece over here. So I think the next thing to do is to put this on, which goes this way. Okay. And then the other one. Just like that. And then this will just hook on to this side. 
and then you push these two things down. Oh, this one's not on yet. There we go. And just clips them like that. And then onto the other side. This one has the, oops. All right, made a mistake. Um, these are different because one side has to accommodate the plug or the power supply, I should say. And this one has the hole in this side. So this one goes over here. So I hook it in and that just snapped on. And I wonder if it matters. Looks like this way. So I'll hook it in on both sides. And maybe, maybe not. Oh, hmm, it's getting caught in the, the plug and whoops, didn't want that to happen. All right, just going to be a little bit more careful here. Maybe I have it the wrong way. No, nope. it's for sure that way. So this thing is a little tricky at the end here. Um, there. So you just gotta really push it into place first so it surrounds this plug nicely and then snap it in. Other than that, that's, uh, that's uh, basically it little wiggly. Other than that, that's really nice. Um, really nice design. Uh, the boards stand off from the acrylic, so the board isn't actually really touching any of the acrylic except for the screen and the plug, which is nice. Um, I did buy this uh, this block right here. Um, this is so I can have easy in and out plugging ability with my LED channels. But I guess I'll just put the knob on and finish this up. Maybe not. Alright, I think the knob's on.